G'day. Big Dundee from Australia. How are you? Just looking for a man. Was once a pariah state, the glow. But the loop. Small, medium, and large in 1X only. A new area, you don't know their speed limits. You aren't exactly sure. Um, you know, when you're going over the bridge, gosh, it's 55 Boy, or 65. And when I, I come off the bridge, that. gee, I didn't know it dropped from 65 to 45 from the first, you know, 100 yards. So this is great. It's a great equalizer. It's like a little mini insurance policy that you have in your car. I hope that it will make you a better and a safe, more alert driver. It's not a lot of money for a little bit of peace of mind. And it's 709-077. Let me give you a look of everything we talked about in our summer. Hey, where am I? You're in TCI Cablevision video production class, and we're all here learning how to operate television cameras and produce television and everything. My name is Fred Dye, and I'm here because I'm a member of a, a volunteer for a nature organization, and I want to get pictures of the Big Valley. Here's a picture of the Big Valley, and I want to get this on television. Here's a picture of the Big Valley. Here's a close-up of the lake with the water lilies in it. And here's one of the fragrant water lilies. And here's a rare white lady slipper. And another even rarer fringe gentian. And that's why I'm here, because I want to go out in the field with a camera and take pictures of all of this. Welcome to TCI Cablevision's video production class, where during the next 10 weeks you will learn everything you need to know about video production. Our class is broken up into three segments, single camera, studio, and videotape editing. And at the end of 10 weeks, you will be invited to use your new knowledge to produce your own programs that will air on cable TV, channel 65, right here in Lake Orion. The first part of the class, like I said, is single camera. We have four of these Hi8 camcorders. We will teach you how to operate these. You can check these out of the studio on a first come, first serve basis to produce your own programs. Oh, oh. You have a question? Yeah, well, what if you take a camera to Lake Michigan and you're in a boat and, and a naval submarine thinks that you're a Russian spy and they, and they fire a torpedo at you and, and the torpedo hits the boat and, and, and it knocks the camera loose and, and it sinks to the bottom of the lake. Does anyone else have a question? And that pretty much covers the single camera. Now I want you guys to show me what you've learned. Phones are plugged in. Mm -hmm. Wow, these cameras sure are intimidating. Yeah, uh, they're they're pretty easy to use once you get used to it, though. Uh, they only take a little bit of practice. Well, my name is PJ. Uh, why are you taking this class? Well, I'm Bill, and this is my cameraman Chris. We're just taking the class to experiment a little bit with TV production because we found it to be quite interesting in school, and it gives us something to do over the summer and something to do on Tuesday nights here at TCI Cable Station, and. You know, we get to meet some friends, and it's always good to meet friends, and... <laughs> well, Chris, he was a dud. Welcome now to the studio portion of the class. Over the next few weeks, you're going to be learning how to operate these cameras. We have three of them here in the studio. You're also going to be learning how to direct, how to do graphics, and everything you need to know to put together a program right here in our studio. So, we're... let's begin. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, 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 oh! 
Yeah. Oh, oh, what, what if somebody goes out and spends thousands of dollars on props for the studio? And uh, the cable commission doesn't reimburse him. And uh, so he files a major lawsuit against him and loses and then has a, a major fear of television for the rest of his life. All right, let's get to it. Sure are heavy. Uh, my name's BJ. Hi, my name's Mike. I've never seen you here before. No, uh, I'm new here. Uh, why are you taking this class? Oh, well, I'm taking it to uh, help a friend uh, do summer programs and to produce puppet movies and stuff like that. So, wow, that's pretty neat. Yeah, thought so too. Ever since we threw you and Longshanx out of Scotland, you've been still trying to lure us. Either it's through the country or through the media or through something else you've been trying to lure us. Well, I'm telling you, James Bond, that's an English spy. Ed, Bringing Ed, an Englishman to the film is Brett, not Ed, my idea Ed. of a fair topic. Let me Shut up. Let me <laughs> handle this. I don't have to take this from you. <laughs> everyone and welcome to the 21st century where we talk about things about the 21st century. <laughs> I'm Bill Caddick, your host, and I'm, in, I'm joining me today is Mr. Fred Dye, an environmentalist from Rochester Hills, Michigan. Uh, straight from Little Rock, Arkansas, we have Mr. Bill Clinton. And very last there we have Mr. Lee Kirkpatrick from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Uh, Lee, how about one of your adventures? It's okay, you can call me Rich because all, all right. my friends do and everybody else that I know does too. Um, well, actually, one of my most well memorable adventures was uh, up in Alaska when we were uh, out exploring in Alaska. We actually took a, a ship or a, a large boat out to the ice and we were exploring uh, up in the cold tundra of Alaska. And, we thought we had timed everything just just quite you know well enough to um, get back to camp in time. However, we we uh, started tracking a polar bear, but by when we made our roundabout, we noticed that the polar bear had actually turned and started tracking us. So we took some time to um, you know stop, wait, and see what the, what the result was going to be. Um, we never you know, ran into the polar bear again, uh, but. Now we couldn't make it back by uh, nightfall. In nightfall in Alaska, the temperature plummets. So we quickly built a snow shelter um, and weathered out the, most of the night in there. Fortunately, I had a down sleeping bag, a couple of candles, but uh, I lost this finger to, <laughs> 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 to frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some other some other people um, or had frostbite, but we did make it back, and that was one of our most harrowing adventures. <laughs> um, did your mother ever take care of that monster that was in your closet? Remember that? Did she take care of the monster that was in your closet? And remember Mommy did Santa the best she could. Claus? She did. Remember Santa Claus? <laughs> you know, five years old was a long time ago. Maybe I'm, there's I'm some other Zorboard. issues. Maybe there's I'm some other issues that we need to address. I'm here. eleven in Zorbon years. My father is the king of Zorbon. Old. Can you tell me? I mean, I know there were a lot of terrible. I can't things. handle I this. That. I can't handle it. <laughs> well, but they, they took my arm. <laughs> Let me show you something. Come here. Watch. Watch this. Pull. Whoa! Look at that! We fucked his arm! Welcome to the final portion of the class. We are now going to begin editing. Uh, what we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks is learning how to use this equipment to edit together your programs. Uh, once you complete this portion of the class, You'll be free to turn in your programs, begin working on your own programs, uh, and they will eventually air on Channel 65. So uh, this is going to be bringing our workshop to an end. Uh, before we begin, any questions? If we don't have any, let's get going. 
Boy, there sure are a lot of buttons here. This looks really complicated. My name's PJ. Where are you taking the class? Hi, I'm Barb. I'm Suzanne. Hi. We're here learning how to, how do, to do a video for our racing club that we belong to. It's our 50th anniversary. Wow, that's cool. What's your name? Uh, my name's Rich, um, PJ, and I'm just taking the class because I've, I like goofing around with the video camera, but I've taken it as far as I can go without editing equipment and uh, different equipment that I'll need here in the studio. So. Oh, that's neat. It is. Hi, what's your name? Oh, my name is Gisela, and I take the class because I would like to learn how to do uh, video productions. I'm a ski instructor, and I would like to show how to teach children and senior citizens how to ski. Wow, that that's would neat. Be wonderful. That's neat. Oh, PJ, buck up, buddy. You could have been making your own TV show all the time. In fact, you could come back into the studio anytime you want, as long as it's during office hours. You really mean that? Sure. Well, I have one more question. How do I get home? Click my slippers together? <laughs> Not quite, PJ, but I'll take care of that. Wake up, you stupid bum! Wake up! What, are you going to sleep in that chair all morning? Wake up! But, Ma, you'll never believe what I was dreaming of. Hey, hey, what's all the ruckus? I, I was dreaming I was in a video production class at TCI, and you were in it. And you were in it. And you were in it. Ha-ha! 